So then now we come to the PICV, which, as I um, uh, I mentioned before, is uh, um, is a pressure independent control valve, and um, and it is basically a two in one valve. So we have a control valve, and as I mentioned before, everybody also knows what a control valve does. Uh, it controls the temperature in the room, but we also have this combined with a uh, pressure controller internally. So um, the motorized control valve is basically taking care of the room load changes. So if you look, if you remember the, the control loop, it is very much talking about the difference between uh, the actual measured temperature in the room and, uh, um, and the set temperature. What the um, pressure controller does, actually the pressure controller is only focusing on these, pr these pressure fluctuations that you will have in, this, um, uh, in the system. So, um, and right away you can kind of understand that this, is, uh, that this is making the life of the control valve easier because certain in, uh, sources of disturbance are actually just completely locked out. So, uh, and, and also we have to understand that the pressure fluctuation, which means basically a flow change through the valve, will, um, will also have an effect because the, the flow that we use for uh, heating or cooling is directly proportional on the amount of cooling or heating we do in the room. So if we have a Fanco unit and we have, I don't know, uh, 200 liters per hour flowing through the Fanco unit. If we do that, um, if we double that flow, we will actually also see a large increase in the cooling capacity. I will not say double because it's not exactly double, but that's again, a completely different uh, technical discussion. Uh, so, but, but with the pressure controller, you know that when I open the valve 50%, my flow is also always 50%, no matter what happens in the rest of the system. And this is the crucial, um, um, crucial version. So as I was saying, the, um, the differential pressure controller takes care of the, of the fluctuation. So if you look at, um, at the, the valve design, we have, uh, you know, an actuator that fits on the top. Then here we have the control valve. And on the bottom, we have the pressure controller. So this, um, this kind of gives you, um, let's say, the overview of how the, 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 the valve works. And it is important because it will give you the very precise control in the, uh, in the valve. And, um, and the pressure controller will make sure that you also have a high authority on the, on the valve, which is basically saying that it is very, again very precise in control but also again a very big subject on its own which we might cover in later live streams for example 